swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is do you believe Fury and Usyk will fight on April 29th? There have been reports from Mike Coppinger, Michael Benson, that they are pretty much close to closing in on this deal. So the question is, do you think this fight is going to take place on April 29th? I'm going to turn it over to Spear G. Uh, yes, I do believe so. And the reason why is because um, I believe – Tyson Fury has been training this whole time, just like I believe Usyk's been training this whole time for one another, you know? And so, you know, because at first I was like, yo, that date's kind of like around the corner. But it makes sense if these dudes are already back in camp, pretty much they were just like, hey, we know this is going to happen. Let's get ready, you know? And I haven't seen, like, Tyson Fury blow up in weight or anything. So I have to believe that he's still been, um, you know, disciplined, uh, throughout this time and the fact that i seen him in that video jogging you know saying that he's back in camp i believe that he's gonna be ready for uh april 29th all right tbe man i feel like this fight is gonna happen i feel like usik, usik said he needed time and i feel like he as you know with everything going on in his personal life I feel he's been, he's staying he's staying ready. He's he's not taking no days out the gym things like that. Uh, Fury Fury gets on. I feel like Fury's training as well. Like like you said, yes, these both these gentlemen been training because they know this fight could have happened anytime this year. And April 29th is March 12th. Now the fight was agreed to what Friday Saturday, and I feel like it's just right. They like they 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 they're in peak shape. All 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 this training camp, all these weeks left till this April 29th is gonna be like. Watching video, studying, seeing what they can do, how they can capitalize on their opponent. So, gee, I feel you think Fury's gonna come in and try to put this weight on him, but Usa's not gonna allow that, and this is gonna be an amazing fight. If I just, I, 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 I hope Fury slips just a little bit, and it's gonna be the biggest mistake in his life. I think he's gonna try to hug him. He's gonna catch an uppercut, and I hope he does that. I hope. No, he does no, that. Oh, so you really think uh, Tyson Fury is as foolish as your boy AJ? Gotcha. No, no. I just think Tyson Fury is gonna <laughs> make, slip up. Like, like it's gonna be the littlest slip, and he's gonna catch. He's gonna catch something. Us has been waiting. Is is Us's time is impeccable, yo. Like, like Fury's time is great, but Usyk's time is impeccable. Like, who got the better footwork? Usyk. How Who's faster? How do you know that? Usyk. Only thing Fury yeah. got over Usyk is he's bigger. He's bigger. But how do you know I, that? Have you seen before? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. But, but that would know. You know what I'm <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Yo, I ain't, yo, pause, pause, pause. I was, I don't yo, know. Yo, Ned was watching that uh, BMF episode with Meech. Like, oh, that's why they call him Big Meech. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I find the post, but I don't know if it was Bleacher Report. Or when it was like a, a sports, and it was like Tyson Fury, he was flexing, and he had on like the tidy whities Man wasn't man wasn't showing no print and nothing, and then all the conversations. <laughs> <he's saying, laughs> I'm just saying, boys, boys, boys. That was the post. I'm not on that. That's what the check. Hey, I'm gonna I'm go on camera for this too, man. Cause I I'm not. I don't care none Whatever of that. You do it, I don't, don't want to be associated. Hey, with it. But yeah. there, was, there was coming that fury, like yo. There was like, oh, that's why he's big and mad, you know. But hey, man, I. I, it was I make the post. I just saw the post and I read. I was like, "Damn, yo, they really coming." I was trying to you share with you. I gotta say, you you actually fixed your lips to say that out loud. You, yeah. hey, it's, not, it's on. It's on the internet. There was coming. There was coming at Tyson Fury, man. It was like he was just like this. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, all right. Fury, Fury, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, 
<laughs> Never have I ever. Um, so <laughs> um, I'm going to say uh, I'm optimistic, but I'm not certain that this fight's going to take place on April 29th. Um, as G pointed out, that's six weeks away. I don't know if Tyson Fury is going to be ready in six weeks. I hope he's been training because if he's been training, that's going to increase the likelihood that uh, the fight will happen. But if he needs more time, I think that's what's going to kill the deal. I've said this before. I don't think professional fighters are afraid of each other. I think um, they look for advantages, though. And I think Fury's advantage is he's in a position where um, Usyk either needs to take the fight or he's going to have to defend against Daniel Dubois. So he knows that Daniel Dubois is not Deontay Wilder. He's not even Dillian White. He's not uh, Joe Joyce. So he understands that uh, Daniel Dubois is probably not going to be um, as, he knows it's not going to be as big a fight as those guys, certainly not as big a fight as it would be fighting Tyson Fury. So he understands he has Usyk in a compromising position. I think Usyk is accepting the 30% because he's saying, OK, if I can get him in the ring in six weeks, I'm feeling good. You know, he's been in camp, so he probably feels like he has a real good camp. He probably feels like, yeah, like if I get him in six weeks, I can beat him like based on the way his camp is going. So he's probably like, you know what? This is about more than money for me. I already made a lot of money, so let me take this fight. And so Fury, um, you know, if he if he wants more time, he'll find a way to kill the deal. But if he's been training, I believe that this fight's going to happen because I believe Fury's going to be like, great, you've been looking for me. I've been looking for you. We're going to meet on March 27th. I mean, 29th. But if Fury needs more time, I think he'll kill the deal. Um, so, And I think Usyk's accepting this deal because – the options he had, he can't pick his next opponent. It can't be a voluntary. And he's like, okay, you know what? Let me get Tyson. If I can get Tyson and let's get this done. So I'm optimistic. Uh, I'll say about 70, 30 chance that this fight happens. <laughs> All right. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe or even comment. And remember, you can catch us on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. Salute, Trill Dollar Bill.